Okay, Anne, pardon the hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm emulating Will in his bedhead. No, not really. Uh, this is called I Just Washed It. And the trailer that I live in, if I try to use a dryer, well, the power goes out every single time. So I haven't been able to dry my hair for a year. I'm dying to move. Anyway, about your story about running through the house. Years ago, I was living in this little mother-in-law apartment on a house. It was basically a garage and porch and utility room that was converted and turned into a bedroom, a long living room, that was the porch, and the utility room was the bathroom and a kitchen with washer and dryer on one wall of the kitchen and, and stove and stuff on the other wall. So anyhow, the woman who owned the house and the house next door had a new sprinkler system put in. But when the guys put the new sprinkler in, they didn't detach the old lines from an old sprinkler system. But while they were running the tiller to put the new one in, they cut some of those lines. Not through, but sliced them. So one of those lines worked up out of the ground and was aimed right at the bathroom window, which was the old louver type windows from back in the 50s and 60s, and was a little loose, never sealed tight. So 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear water running, and I'm thinking, why is there water running in the house? I'm asleep and the dog doesn't know how to turn on the water. So I get up to investigate and I find water pouring in the window over the sill onto the bathroom floor, flooding all the way across the bathroom. It's coming out into the carpet and down into the, the step down into the bedroom. And I think, oh crap, and I've got to go get some towels quick, which were in the dryer because I'd washed them all the day before and dry, put them in the dryer. So I go to run into the kitchen, not thinking connecting wall between that bathroom and kitchen and the water had run right through the baseboard of the wall. So I hit the kitchen floor which was about 15 feet long. Narrow. Na very narrow but long. D the most galley style kitchen you've ever seen in your life. I hit the first step on that linoleum floor. My foot went flying out from beneath me and I went into what I call the mammy pose because I was one knee down, one knee up, slid the whole way down the length of the kitchen to slam into the ice chest I had against the wall from a, I think it was a 4th of July party we just had. No, couldn't have been 4th of July. Um, because it was just before the Renaissance Fair, so it couldn't have been 4th of July. But anyway, somebody's birthday, I threw the party, and I hadn't cleaned up anything. There were glasses and dishes and everything all over the counters. Somehow I managed to cover that entire kitchen floor without breaking too many things. None of it hit the floor. I broke one glass, but it went flying into the sink. Did not cut myself at all, but when I hit that chest, I broke two toes on my foot and dislocated my right knee. I casually reached sideways and pulled some towels out of the dryer, yelled for my roommate to please come and get the towels and start mopping up the floor, and called the, the lady who owned the house to let her know that the water needed to be turned off because it was flooding the apartment. Somehow I did all that without losing my cool or starting to scream from the pain. Next morning I had um, my roommate drive me to the hospital and came home with a big huge, you know, one of those leg braces. But that was my lesson in running through the house as an adult. I was... 30, 32 when that happened. So, yeah, I was very much an adult. Big mistake. <laughs> so you're not the only one. And I've done it so many times on the corner of beds. Not even running, just changing the bed sheets, 
caught toes on the corner of the bed and like pull them sideways. All of a sudden I'm doing the Vulcan, you know, with my toes because the bed frame split. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so there's my story, which was too long to type. So I did a little video for you. Bye.